Hello, Coach's Desk Massive. I trust everybody is doing okay and everybody is doing all right. Yeah, man. Um, big up uh, to everyone who continue to support the movement. All right, so um, I'll be talking about a particular a topic today that um, might, you know, change our person's view things in terms of the reggae boys. Because right now the team in itself needs some sort of a uh, 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 backroom staff going forward where you need more personals right and there are two individuals people who has been doing a lot of work beyond behind the scene and they they work oftentimes we would have perceived it going unnoticed right and these two individuals these two individuals are simon preston yes he's a broadcaster and devon porter who is a football coach and he's also a scout and of course he has other things that he does so definitely people it is a matter of of these persons have a passion for football and they have the best interest of the country at heart and they go above and beyond to ensure that persons are contacted persons who are linked to the uh, to the to the national team or to the country um they will call up the person they will they will introduce themselves they will talk to the person um and persuade them to uh, be a part of the national team and it comes with also assistance from other former players so they look at the, the work that these persons are doing most of the overseas players that are introduced to the, the national team these two individuals would have played a very important if not vital part of the whole contact of these players Sometimes the, 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 the powers that be the JFF, they drag their feet and it takes a longer time uh, from introduction to, 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 to get in these players playing for the country. So, I mean, I, I, I must big up Simon Preston, um, especially with this Reggae Boys commentary that he has been running YouTube channel for over, t for almost 10 years now or 10 year anniversary now. Is that so? They're about. Alright? So, I mean, we have to big up Simon. And you can see that this, this, this young man is very passionate about football. You understand? And if you want to know more about him, you can go on, on, on the Coach's Desk channel and watch an interview that we did with um, Simon Preston. He spoke of his life and his upbringing and all of that. Now, he also uh, won, was the youngest broadcaster or sports journalist to receive the, the, the Prime Minister's Youth Award. You understand? So Simon has been, 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 been a long time lover of football. He played football as well for Illel Academy um, under the stewardship of uh, uh, Fabian Davis at the time. So, I mean, Simon loves football. He loves sports, but he has a very intense passion for football in jamaica and to be um particular the reggae boys now there's this thing that um myself and miguel coley spoke about on an interview that i did with him the video analyst right which is very critical in football and based on the work that simon preston is doing people i do believe that he would have had the 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 the, the, the knowledge and the know-how to actually be the video analyst for Jamaica. Yeah. So in terms of going outside of Jamaica to get a, a, a video analyst people. We have our very own in Simon Preston that the reggae boys. The Jamaica Football Federation can use. These persons should be involved in the program. A Simon Preston. A Devon Porter. Devon Porter should be lauded for the work that he is doing. And he should be acknowledged by the Jamaica Football Federation. But back to Simon Preston. Yeah, man. 
based on the work that Simon is doing, people, I would definitely appeal right now to the Jamaica Football Federation to get Simon on board as the video analyst. We have spoken a number of times and the way how Simon talk about football people, he's one of the, 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 the bright minds of football in the country. His football IQ is up there. Um, it, 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 it is leading the way right now. You understand? He could be in the, in, in the, in, in the argument of being one of the best football minds in the country. You understand? And the persons like these, if I were the JFF president, I would ensure that the best sporting mind, the best football minds be a part of my team. Because at the end of the day, it will benefit the team. Now, when you look at, um, um, at, at Simon's um, work that he would have uh, been doing, Simon would have sat on four World Cup panels, you know. 2006 with TVJ, 2010 with CVM, 2014 with CVM again, and 2018 with um, TVJ. You understand? So, so this young man, if, if he wasn't that good, these stations and platforms wouldn't be calling him to ensure that they acquire services to be analysts on these panels. You know what I mean? And and if you if you, if you put things into perspective, people, um, he also did 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 some analysts for the for for the Gold Cup, uh, 2015, and the team made it to the final. He did it for the for the for the 2017 Caribbean Cup. The team came second. You understand? Now one of the one of the things that 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 uh, after talking with Simon, I realized that. How passionate this man is about football and analyze teams. You see, sometimes we go in these games unaware of you know, people. And, and, and this is something that the coach needs to lobby for. He needs an analyst. And I'm telling Coach Theodore Whitmore that he can request Simon Preston. And I know that he knows. Listen to me now, people. The... English FA, that's the English Football Association, watches Simon Preston's program, Reggae Boys Commentary. They watch it. So any ball that Simon talk about, the English FA ensure that if it is going to be a threat losing them, they cap these players so that Jamaica will not get them. Yeah, back to the story now. When, 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 when Jamaica was about to play Chile in 2016 as the world number three, Simon did an analyst on the team, people. And, and Jamaica actually won that game 2-1. You understand? One of his, 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 his theories is that Chile concedes 90% of their goals from crosses. You understand? And when you look at, 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 at things, people, Jamaica scored two goals from the crosses and that would have allowed them to win the game. So, so, so people, for example, now, we went up against the United States a few days ago, right? And if, 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 if Simon Preston was the analyst for that game, you understand? And, 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 and he would have looked on the type of players that US have, he would have analyzed how they play, then he would actually give with more strategies and tactics to go into the game to ensure that we we counter those strong points and um, exploit the weak areas of the United States team. These are the things that we need to do and I, I do believe that our coach possibly is not that type of individual that will analyze games so intensely and so deeply. Because you're going up against your opponents, you have to know the type of game that they play. You have to know their weaknesses. You have to know their strengths. And these are the things that are important. And, and, and mark you though, I've heard Coach Theodore Whitmore asking for a video analyst because he knows of the importance of it. But having a, 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 a coach and two assistants, one is a goalkeeper coach, that is not sufficing enough to move the football forward. We need a video analyst and I'm recommending a Simon Preston. 
And we need to show more respect to a Devon Porter as well. Who has, who has been working for years. Scouting players for the Jamaica Football Federation. And sometimes the, the, the work has, has gone unnoticed people. You, you, you know the many benefits of, of having a, a, a video analysis in that team. The advantages people. There are so many benefits. You understand? And we are in the era of technology. A lot of top teams, a lot of top clubs, they have their video analysis. And, mark you, it is important because it also helps the players. So when the video analysis is done, they sit in a little platform and they watch the video analysis. It helps players to show them their weaknesses as well. And to show them their strengths, what they are doing, what they can change and all of that. And they work on it for the, for the next game. So when they don't have this and a man play a, a bad ball, how many times in that department, how many times. If you don't have a video analysis or any statistics on it, how, how is he going to improve? I hear they, 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 they talk a lot about Michael Hector. That he's not this, he's not that. Do, do, do. Do we have a video analysis that is paying attention to Michael Hector so that the coach can know that, hey, Hector is one that gives away the ball a lot. You understand? So we, we need to make a change where Hector is concerned. So these are the things that a video analysis will help do, you know. It will also help to take the bias out of the team in terms of selection. You understand? Listen to me, it also helps people in injury prevention, as simple as we take it. Poor technique and body position often contribute to sports injuries, people, if you did not know. And when these things are analyzed by the, 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 the video analyst, it will assist the players in eliminating the poor technique, the bad body positioning, so that they can ensure they stay um, healthy. And like I said before, it also helps the individual review and comparison of players to know what this player is doing, what the opposition is doing. This is his weaknesses. This is how I'm going to explore that section of the team. Come on, man. Come on, man. We need these things, people. And it also aids in team development. So, we're talking about chemistry, see uh, if we have a video analysis and we look and we know how these players play and all of that, then definitely we're not going to have any problems with chemistry because it, everything will run through the video analysis. How many times these players sit down and watch videos uh, and know what they are doing? They probably can't even laugh at what they are doing because sometimes the, f the, the stupid um, things that they do. So Jamaica Football Federation, hierarchy, leadership, at least... Consider, consider a video analysis. You don't have to go outside the country. You know what I mean? There's a Simon Preston here in Jamaica who is passionate about the game, who loves the game, who can analyze the game. He can tell you about the players, their weaknesses and their strengths. He, he, can, he can assist the coach in putting his team into perspective in countering imagine at half time people you're playing a game and, and the team is all over you in half time quickly in the dressing room your video analysis goes through hey this is what Maps is not doing this is what Tony is not doing this is what um, Lowe is not doing alright he needs to do this to ensure that he counters what this player is doing alright that is his strength ensure that you, you counter it with that these things are not happening man and we need these things to happen to improve the team. People, we have a very quality team, people. And if we don't get the necessary things to improve the team, trust me, it's going to be like a waste team. But I do believe, people, Devon Porter should get some respect. Simon Preston should get some respect. And these individuals should get recognition by being a part of the Jamaica Football Federation team people. Yeah. What say you? What are your thoughts on having them joining the, the, the JFF team? 
Will JFF hire them? Hmm, that's another thing. Let's see. Thanks again, people, for tuning into the coach's desk. Thank you for the support. I await your comments below in the, sec in the comment section. Big up yourself. Continue to stay safe. Peace out.